information to deduce the answer. So here's the deal. P of 0 then is going to be 2C0. 2C0. 1 half to the what? To the 0 power. 1 minus 1 half to the, what's 2 minus 0? Be careful. <laughs> 2 minus 0 is not 0. It's what? 2. Okay? You see what I'm saying when we clean this up? Guess what? We can clean it up further. What is any number to the 0 power? Good. What's 1 minus 1 half? So this part is, all, is 1 half. Can we clean this up further? Well, let's see. You guys know what 2C0 is? It's 2. So P of 0 is 2 times 2 times 1 times 1 half to the what? Second power. Bless you. P of 0 is, you guys know order of operation? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. 2 times 1 times, what's 1 half to the 4th? I'm sorry, 1 half to the 2nd? Isn't that 1 4th? What's 2 times 1 times 1 4th? 2 over 4? Isn't this what? 1 half. P of 0 is 1 half. Meaning, the probability of having no what? Girls is what? One half. Oops, sorry, not, well, just, uh-oh. Uh-oh, which one are we looking at? Yeah. Oh, we put the wrong, wait, am I losing my mind? What happened? Hold on. Huh. What happened? Oh, I know what happened. 2C0 is not 2. It's 1. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate, you know, that. that's scary. That's scary. Sorry, I knew, wait a minute. Okay, it's 1. That's what happens when you're still asleep. It's what? 1 fourth. Whew, sorry. I lost one, almost lost my mind there. Isn't that the same answer you had over here? Okay. So the probability of having no girls is one fourth. Why are we using this formula anyway when we don't have to? Why are we using that formula? Why do you think? Yes. I mean, take a look at this scenario. Compare this to, let's note, what happens if we have five children? Let's say we have five children now. And I'm going to ask you, what's the probability of having what? No girls. Didn't we say, let the success be what's in the question? What's in the question? Having what? Girls. That's our success. Is that right? So having no girls still means x is the value of what? Zero. So if we go and we say, let's, let's look at this from five, a five children perspective, then the only thing that changes, ladies and gentlemen, is the value of n. n here is five in this setting. That's the only thing that changes. So if you go to your binomial formula, p of x is ncx, p to the x, 1 minus p to the n minus x. Still again, zero successes. 0, 0, 0, 0. What's the probability of a single success? It doesn't matter if you have one um, two children, or ten children, or five children. The likelihood of having 
a girl, which is a success here, is still what? One half. That doesn't change ever. Because you're looking at it from having a single child perspective. A boy or a what? Girl. Two outcomes. This is why this is the binomials used. Two outcomes. A boy or a what? Girl for a single trial. So then the only thing that changes here is the value of n. This is still one half. This is still one half. n is the value of five now. Okay? This is why we use the binomial formula because you don't want to create that sample space for five children, do you? Just to answer that question? What if, they, what was 10, what if it was 10 children? Do you want to create the sample space there? Mm -mm. So, P of 0, 5C0, 1 half to the 0 power, 1 minus 1 half to the, what's 5 minus 0? 5. Again, we can clean this up. 5C0, ladies and gentlemen, is what? 1. 1 half to the 0 is what? 1. What's 1 minus 1 half? 1 half. So this is 1 half raised to the fifth power. Okay? So determining the probability here of having no girls, P of 0 is 1 times 1 times 1 half. What is that really? Isn't that 1 half to the fifth power? And doesn't your calculator give you that answer? 1 over what? Well, it's 1 over 32. Good. 1, out of th 1 over 32 as a fraction. But what is this as a decimal to the nearest thousands? Is that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. 1 over 32. Ah, well, I guess what do we see? 0. Uh, tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Oh, let's write the whole thing down. 0 0.03125. You guys okay with this? So this is an illustration of what's the, called the binomial, binomial probability distribution, binomial probability formula. A good setting to start discussion of this binomial is having children. It's the, it's the application of that formula. Um, but there's other settings and other things that we can talk about. But here's my point. Do you guys know that there's 32 outcomes, 32 different gender sequences when you have five children? What do I mean by a gender sequence? What's a gender sequence? Yeah, here's a gender sequence. Here's are some gender sequences. How many children are we having again? Five. Girl, boy, girl, girl, boy. How many children do you see here? Five. The oldest is a, is a girl, then a boy, followed by two girls, and then a boy. That's one gender sequence. Here's another gender sequence. What does that look like? First three are girls, the last two are what? Boys. This is a second gender sequence. Here's a what? Third gender sequence, how many, what, what, what do you have here? All girls. Here is another gender sequence. How many, you have what? All boys. How many of these gender 